gallstones. Small, but can potentially be terrible. These tiny crystals are formed in the gallbladder, mostly made of excess cholesterol. When gallstones get lodged in your digestive ducts, it can cause a sharp, persistent pain in your abdomen. They can also feel like nothing at all. In fact, you might have gallstones and just not know it. Let's talk about it. The gallbladder is a small organ underneath your liver that stores bile, a liquid that helps break down fat into a more digestible form. Sometimes, components in the bile, like cholesterol and bilirubin, stick together and form clumps. These clumps of deposits in the bile are called gallstones and can cause complications. The surprising thing about gallstones? It's way more common than you think. We talked to Dr. Miguel Galvez, Section Chief of Minimally Invasive Surgery from Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital. Dr. Andrea Torre, part of the active surgical staff in Riverside Medical Center in Bacolod City, and Miss Joji, a former Gallstones patient, to talk about their experience and expertise. There are a lot of people that have Gallstones that don't even know that they have Gallstones. So only 20% of the whole population that have Gallstones may become symptomatic. About 80% of people have gallstones. It just so happens that a lot of people that uh, present in our clinics are those who are symptomatic. When you say symptomatic, the patients would have with symptoms of right upper quadrant pain. This pain can be referred to the back or to the right shoulder. Some people would experience dyspepsia, or yung sinasabi nilang sinisikmura. Yung mga initial symptoms ko po, pagsusuka, and then I suffer abdominal pain and difficulty of breathing. For the first time na na-experience ko po yung pain, parang akala ko sa pag-intake ko lang na pagkain, na right after parang na tagalan lang na pag-digest. Normal naman yung BP ko and then wala, wala rin po akong trigger na may acid ako. During the time parang sudden lang, sudden lang yung pag-experience ko. Sometimes the patient may feel like after they eat a heavy meal, they don't digest. So the feeling is the food is there. How come it's been a while since I ate, but it seems like my stomach is still full. Some other uncommon symptoms of gallstones can be jaundice. So what is jaundice? It's yellowing of the skin. It can also be ictericia or yellowing of the white of our eye. That is a sign that the stone has obstructed the bile duct. And that is a problem because that symptom needs emergency surgery. Usually people who lead a sedentary lifestyle can develop gallstones. People who eat more fat, especially the uh, saturated fats, tend to develop gallstones. Everyone of any age can develop gallstones. So for the, the kids that have blood problems, they can develop gallstones very early. For teenagers, they can develop gallstones. For young adults that don't eat a healthy diet and more of the bad cholesterols and stuff like that, and if they have family history, there is also an increased risk. The highest risk is for females who are 40 and are on the higher BMI, which means they weigh more than what is considered as healthy. People who don't drink so much, who more often are dehydrated, tend to develop gallstones because water makes up uh, a majority of the component of bile. So being dehydrated, of course, konti na lang yung tubig sa bile mo. Inaabsorb pa ng ating bituka yung tubig na yun. Inaabsorb pa yung kakaunting tubig na yun ng ating gallbladder. So it makes the bile thick, making it a good milieu to develop stones. Right after po nung na-experience kong pain, 
nag-rest lang po ako. Nag-take lang po ako ng warm water and then nag-take lang po ako ng medicine na pang ano lang po ng stomach pain. Gallstones do not go away on their own. All of the things that they tell you about, you drink this, you drink that, you eat this, you eat that, those gallstones will not go away. When you develop gallstones, there's no way of dissolving them. No amount of medication or cure. A lot of people have tried but have failed. And the most effective way to remove your gallstones is to remove your gallbladder. There are two types of surgery. One is the open surgery, wherein there is a big incision and we access the gallbladder and take it out. The other type of surgery is laparoscopic surgery. Four small incisions. Some surgeons do three. Recommended is four. Small incisions using a camera, telescopes, and hand instruments. If you found out that you have gallstones, depending on your symptoms, you can discuss it with your doctor. Because if you don't have any symptoms, then there is no need for surgery. Because some people have gallstones and live forever and nothing happens. Well, the outcomes of both surgeries, whether you undergo laparoscopic surgery or open surgery, are just the same. The difference is you get to return to work right away after laparoscopic surgery. But basically, it depends on the patient. It depends on their threshold, how they accept the pain. Confident ako na yung doctor na tutulong sa akin is definitely the best. So I decided po na magpa-opera po at the Riverside Medical Center with good uh, service po. Wala akong worry from the beginning. Two days lang po ako na nakapag-confine sa hospital. And then, pagkatapos ng aking rest and medication, one week lang po, nakapag-back uh, to work na po ako. Routine na um, surgery to, whether laparoscopic or open. These are routine procedures that are fairly safe. Your surgeons, your doctors have trained well. They're trained to give you good advice, and they are trained to give you the best healing. Mas matakot ho tayo sa komplikasyon kaysa matakot ho tayo sa mga operasyon. So a lot of people are really scared of major procedures or an operation. Marinig lang yung operasyon. Takot na lahat ng tao. Be weary of the complications. Because if we go down that road, we may never come back from it. That's what's scary about this disease that is easy to treat. After gallbladder surgery, patients usually live a healthy life. It is one of the most common surgeries done. Patients return to normal, usually within a week after surgery. For those that need to go back to work, they can go back to work within that week. So yes, normal, yes, no problem. Wala akong regrets nung na isipan ko o nakapag-decide ako na magpa-surgery. Inisip ko talaga ng mabuti kasi alam ko naman na I'm in a good hand. Naiisip ko talaga na how long ko talaga dadalhin yung pagsasuffer. Any moment na magti-trigger siya, hindi ko talaga alam if ma-manage ko pa or uh, hindi na. So, thankful ako nakapag-decide ako and then sa tulong with my doctors and then with the hospital, right away, uh, okay na po yung condition ko.